Hey, we're going to take a look at what it takes to record a podcast on a Mac computer using free software. Uh, as many of you know, I started my own podcast in 2016. I actually started two podcasts. I started the Polyglot Developer Podcast, as well as the NoSQL Database Podcast. Uh, these two both, I started in January of 2016. Um, they've, been, they've been big hits, uh, and I thought I'd share how I did it in case you yourself wanted to start a podcast uh, in the future and you wanted to know how difficult it was, what kind of software you need, things like that. And I have to say it's not difficult. Um, you can do it for pretty cheap. Um, the, most the most expensive part uh, involved is the actual microphone. Uh, before I actually start showing you the software, I wanted to uh, be clear that I'm using a Blue Yeti microphone. It's an it's a large microphone. Uh, it came recommended uh, on Amazon. It you can usually pick it up for around eighty dollars, uh, eighty uh, U.S. dollars. Uh, so it's not particularly bad in price, uh, and it does actually sound very good, especially for a beginner microphone. It's what I'm using. Uh, with that, with that out of the way, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the software. So when I record my podcast, I'm using GarageBand. Uh, this comes pre-installed with new Macintosh computers. Um, I'm actually using GarageBand 10.1.0, so that way you know which one I'm using. So when you fire up GarageBand, uh, you should see a, a screen that looks similar to this. Uh, what you want to do is you want to start a voice. So click it and then click Choose. Uh, and then it should pop up in full screen like this or windowed or, or whatever it may be. So the thing about GarageBand is previous versions of GarageBand actually had a podcast um, preset. Starting in 10, that preset has gone away. And for the life of me, I have not been able to figure out how to retrieve it. Uh, but that is not a problem because what I did was I created my own preset. So if you do like this, the audio quality that I have in my podcast, um, I'll show you everything that I did to make it sound like that. Uh, so for, for example, I did, I did make this preset, but we're going to go ahead and walk through it together. Uh, so the first thing that we did, uh, or at least I did, so notice how it's narrational vocal. That actually doesn't sound too bad, but it's a little echoey. We could, we could improve upon the sound quality that it offers. Uh, so let's first of all see what that offers. This is a test to see how well the sound quality is for narration vocal. And I'm going to go ahead and play that back um, inside of the actual recording of this video. This is a test to see how well the sound quality is for narration vocal. Perfect. So as you can see, um, it, it didn't sound bad. It didn't sound great, uh, but, but we can go ahead and improve upon it. So we don't, we don't need to actually re-record our clip anymore. We can actually change the setting uh, on the fly. So it's already been recorded. It's already recorded at uh, what I'd like to believe is the highest quality that it'll be recorded at. Uh, so let's go ahead and go down to what I like to use is natural vocal. Uh, so if I chose natural vocal, that's what it is now. Let's go ahead and play it back. This is a test to see how well the sound quality is for narration vocal. All right, so it really wasn't too bad. Um, but like I said, we can do better. So to remove all of the echo, make it sound as crisp and natural as possible, what you want to do is you want to reduce the echo down to the very bottom. Uh, you also want to adjust the reverb down to the very bottom. Uh, and when you do that, you'll end up with an audio clip that sounds like the following. This is a test to see how well the sound quality is for narration vocal. Not too bad, right? That's actually what I use. So if you look at my user patch, which I saved because I saved this preset so I don't have to keep doing it, um, it's actually what you just saw. Um, so now that you know a little bit of the recording stuff and, and what I do to change the sound quality, how about editing? Uh, so editing is, is something that you'll have to do in your podcast all the time. Uh, what, what you should do is you should first zoom in um, on your timeline. If you're using 
um, a touchpad like I am, you can just uh, pinch to zoom and it'll zoom. So go ahead and select a spot on the timeline. To make a cut, what you would do is you hit the Command T key. And then it would split it into two pieces. So if you needed to, say, um, remove a curse word or remove some kind of static because you're interviewing someone and, and somebody on the line has um, introduced some kind of background noise that you want to remove, you can do it that way. So you can, you can clip two sides and then you would just delete this middle, middle portion. Uh, but you don't have to. You can move it around. You could add some, some white noise. Um, you can say, for example, I wanted to drag and leave this gap. And then I wanted to drag an MP3 audio file in here in case I wanted my own theme song. Uh, I can certainly drag it into the second track and be able to have this theme song and then go right into my podcast. And that's actually what I do. I actually have a short soundbite that I purchased um, and then I included into my podcast episode. So beyond the GarageBand part, uh, so after you've got your, your audio good to go, what you can do is you can go to File. Oh, sorry, I meant Share. And then you would choose Export Song to Disk. And uh, it should let you choose the audio quality. Uh, and then you can choose whatever's good in your book. So nothing was particularly difficult in this whole process. Um, so in theory, you could use what I told you and create your own very high quality podcast uh, to share with the world and hopefully share some great knowledge on everything that you're doing.